Hello to everyone. How are you? This is Joanna and I am back um, today to share with you what I went out and purchased at Macy's and Dillard's and primarily from the $5.95 mist sale. Every mist that I have in here is a gift. So we're going to start off with Macy's. I went into Macy's for a couple of things and everything that I have here is going to be a gift and I had been using the back of my camera because it focused better but since this is tabletop and I don't have anything to hold my phone we're going to go ahead and share like this like I used to so that I can share with you the items that I got and the first thing I got here was another pair of socks because my Christmas gift is going to be to um a friend that likes socks and these are the little elf looking socks now I don't know if they are elf but they look like it they're very cute they did have Santa Claus ones now when I was last in there and I purchased the black ones that I shared with you before they had a lot of these today they only had two pair so I got those and then next I have another co-worker friend that I wanted to get something for and I wanted to make sure it was a thoughtful gift um, so I settled on this scarf and I asked another one of our co-worker friends and it is double the length that I am showing you here. Um, let me see. It opens up or maybe I'm saying that wrong. Yeah. I should say double the width and double the length um, because I was going to go for a pin but I don't really see them wear pins and I had to think of myself. I don't really wear pins either. I know that used to be a style. To wear the pins on your jackets and your coats if i had a nice one i probably would but for the most part i have never went out and sought a pin so i went back out there with my little box looking for a candle so the same candle is in here because they didn't have one that i was looking for um so then i went into dillard and in dillard i was able to find some lash glue that I was looking for for my friend that I got the lashes for and what was odd though this one I would have thought was black but it was I think clear let me see what it says here white clear and then um, the one that looked like it would have been clear was actually black and I went ahead and got the clear on the recommendation um, I can't remember who replied back to me. You know who you are. I want to say thank you. I'm not sure if it was Miss Jasmine or Miss Bobby, but one of those two replied back to me. So I want to say thank you. This is on your recommendation. And that's why I got it. And then I went ahead and also got a little Anastasia lash brag. This is a gift for someone out of town, so I won't be opening that up. And then, of course, I do believe everything else is our main thing, which is Bath and Body Works. And I have two bags, and it did rain here, guys. It rained, and I hate that because it got my bags kind of soggy, even though they were inside of another bag. Now, what I did find that was for me were these two soaps, and I'm not sure um, what I'm going to think about the lavender rose one. Y'all know that I said I wanted it for the color. But while I was in there, we also spied the pink apple punch. And I wasn't expecting this because I know it's in um, wallflower and candle form. So I thought this was pretty nice. I did not get the sea salt and lime one because these were two soap exchanges that I had. One of the soaps was from within that box and the other one was the one that I had bought to get the holiday mistletoe. And then I ended up picking up the holiday mistletoe in store when they only had two. So the one that I got to get the holiday mistletoe with was an exchange for this and the one in the box and the, was it winter candy apple was an exchange for this one. So, the lavender one is very pretty, but if y'all remember the story back when Patty was a manager in the store, and they had the lavender rose, and it was pink, and I went in there, and I said, oh my God, I want that, I have to have that, and she says, Joanna, you're not going to like it. And I said, yes, I am too. I said, I want it. She brought it to me and let me smell it, <laughs> and I smiled at her, <laughs> and I said, oh my goodness, I hate it. It smelled like geraniums. This one don't smell as bad. I grew up. 
as a kid and all the flowers that we had the milkweed the sweet peas the zinnias and all the other flowers i can't name besides roses i could not stand the smell of geraniums i don't know if people wanted those things for how they looked on their porch but i would smell everything it's a wonder nothing happened to me because some little bug could have flew out of those plants but i don't like the smell of geraniums now this isn't bad but i'm going to keep it regardless it says lavender soft rose petals and musk but it's very pretty i do love that it's lavender that kind of helps a little bit and then of course this one the pink apple punch i know that i love the candle this is crisp apples um sun-kissed melon and sugar crystal so let's see how we like this soap because i might go back and get another one of these oh yeah that's very nice that is very nice i think i dripped some it is spot on to the candle but lighter soap light so these are for me now the next thing that i got and i got two of these because these are going to be gifts this was one i think i bought the cream too because i said the cream could hold on its own this is the only one that i think that i bought two of since these were you know 5.95 i went ahead because the other mist that i got from the previous sale i got for me and while i was in there i revisited the mocha cream because i did get the lotion in that um, but I was playing around with the vanilla mocha cream mist and shower gel and I do feel like they smell even more intense than the original one just a smidge and I asked some of the sales girls that know me and they agreed but I did go ahead and I got two of these and I'm I got bags for these as well and you know I didn't think about that I asked for like five bags because I had a few here, but I should have just asked for seven. So the next two mists that I got was I was going to get Forever Red, and then I was going to choose between Love and Pink Velvet Cupcake, if I'm saying that right. But they said that only comes out in the fall, so I guess it will be a returning fall thing for a little bit. But I was not parting with mine, <laughs> so the person I intended to get, um, the Pink velvet cupcake for we'll have to accept love or i don't know but these were the ones that i got now i strayed away from the starlight because i'm not sure if they would like that the pure wonder has anyone else noticed it has two different shades one was a little bit more tanner than the other one like it was way lighter than this but one was light light clear and the other one was like with a tinge of color and I sprayed them both and I didn't like them. Now, that doesn't mean my coworkers won't like them. But the good thing about these is if they don't like these and they do like the Starlight or they do like the Pure Wonder, they can go back and they can get one. So I did get a Forever Red and I got a Golden Sunflower. And I tried to think of scents that were popular and that a lot of people like. So the next ones that I got, of course, I went ahead and got the Hope. I still can't smell this in the mist. I swear when I spray this, I can't. I was almost tempted to go ahead and get me one um, and just see, but I figured I can get it later. I have enough rewards just in case. Um, so the vanilla mocha cream one, I didn't get that for myself because I can get it later. But we have hope and we have love. I went ahead and got these two because a lot of other people do love this. They do smell it just fine. So I don't know what it is with me. So these were the little bags and the little wrap that I got as I knock something over yet again. I hate when I do that. I'd also found some of the caps loose, which I didn't like. Like, this cap is secure. This cap is tight. It does not move. It is tightly on there. Whereas this one is loose. Like, I cannot pick this up by the cap. And I did try to pick up a different one. And all of the Forever Red had loose caps like this. Whereas this cap is secure. This one is not. So, I'll have to warn the person. Because at first, I was going to um, pick who got these. But I think... Um, the ones that I'm going to be giving the mist to, I will let them choose which one they want.
So then the next mist that I got, of course, I had to include Fairy Tale and I had to include um, Gingham Heart of Gold. This is a really nice scent. It's like a golden apple perfume. In fact, I know a lot of us wish they would make this in a butter. And if they do, they need to make it stronger. They need to make it like intense enough to where it can be worn by itself with a mist of this because this is a very pretty fragrance but it is very light if they made this in a perfume and a butter i'm sure we would all agree they need to make it a smidge stronger and then i went ahead and got this right here the whip rose and i was contemplating going ahead to get me one since i did get the lotion but i want to try the lotion first and see this cap is nice and secure as well but you can smell the rose in here you can smell the cocoa i mean you can smell everything that it says and i know that they sell the monin and the tarani syrups that i have both have a rose and i have heard people talk about rose lattes um i did it with the lavender um so i might try that and then of course this is for me because i got the lotion i had realized that i had um not exchanged the gel in my box so i went ahead and got this then after I left the store, I realized I don't have it in Happy Vibes, but I am going back because y'all heard me say that I'm going to go ahead and get the new version of the Cozy Sunday Morning Gel, and I'm going to go ahead and get the, of course, the new version of the um, Vanilla Mocha Cream, I think it's called now. Yeah, I'm getting that confused. Yeah, because mine is vanilla mocha cafe yeah so i will go ahead and get the gels to those and if it ends up being a buy three or if they have a sale however any sales they have friday or saturday i can't go so i'm really happy that this miss sale was today because it gave me a chance to go out and purchase some gifts for people some people have already given me a gift from work that i didn't even think would it was very nice of them so i definitely and I've given them things, which is why they felt like giving me something. But it's just, I give what I give from my heart. And it was just things like the black face mask, um, some of the face shields that I prefer. We share candy. Like a lot of us around there like saltwater taffy. And a lot of us like the um, smart pop white cheddar popcorn. So we share all of that stuff. We share desserts and carry-ins. So this right here is mine as well as the soap. And then if like... Because I got probably more than people will choose because not everybody at my job is in the Bath and Body Works like me. And I do realize that not everybody there either is also into fragrance. So I always try to give them something that's not, you know, necessarily Bath and Body Works. Because sometimes people appreciate a friend from these bath stores that have all this stuff. And sometimes they're just not interested. I have had some people that have accepted stuff from me that would be for their daughters or their granddaughters because they like it. Some have shared scrubs with me. Now the Dove scrubs that we share are popular, Tree Hut, things like that. So the last thing that I got is for another friend and i just went ahead and got three since they were three for nine these were not on sale i have a holder that these can go in and they go to bath and body works their self however they only like this particular scent in candle form wallflower plug form but they don't say that they get anything for their car i also try to pay attention to like the people that i know that go in there like our receptionist goes in there for wallflowers only nothing else um sometimes the decor depending on what it is but the person that likes this scent i figure they might like to have a car scent portable so i have a little thing that these go in and like i said they were um three for nine um they weren't on any sale so i just went ahead and got all three of these in the eucalyptus spearmint and that i do believe guys is all that i purchased today last day before work gonna rest up and see what happens the next week also i'm going to pick somebody um for the candle the candleberry if you haven't entered yet go ahead i am going to go ahead and pick a winner that monday and depending on when they get back with me um i'll probably do the video that sunday when i come in from work but that will still be after seven o'clock here and some of y'all are an hour ahead of me so i wanted to get it closed and ended so that i could get it to you before christmas that may not happen because 
I've been having so many other things to do and I do apologize, but do if you haven't entered yet, that gives you a chance to go to that video. It's the Candleberry video and just list, don't put enter me, but just put what you would want to do for someone for Christmas or what you would want to give someone if you could. And then I will come back probably Monday or like I said, I'll do the video Sunday night and upload it Monday. And depending on when the winner can let me know where to send their items to, I can possibly mail it off that Monday. If not, I'll mail it off that Tuesday. So that was it, guys. These are all sprays that are going to be gifts. I'll be putting them into bags. And until the next time, everyone have a great day.